I know people ask us all the time, do you make these up? We can't make this stuff up. Can't Subject, no, my husband is sleeping with my grandma. Dear Stephen Shirley. Maybe. <laughs> I need your help. Damn. I come home. I came home early one night and caught my husband and my grandma in bed together having sex. She is 70. Mm. She is 70. Mm. He is 23. 47 years. 47 I years. I cannot. Just say 50. You know mm. how we round up. Mm. 50 mm. years between them. Steve, I saw red and beat up my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> this letter's crazy. I told you. Morally, it's wrong, but I was hurt. She said she won't press charges if I go to counseling with her. What? what? <laughs> but I hate her now. Uh, I've since filed for divorce. But Steve, what should I do? Okay, you've done it. You've done it. You beat up your grandmother. You hate her now, and you file for divorce. You've done it. I mean, you you know, you're right in how you feel. Beating up Granny personally, even though she was wrong and deserved it, I couldn't have done that. I just couldn't have. I understand how you feel. It's a horrible situation to run into. My question is, what happened to your husband? There's no mention of him. What did you What did you do to him? Or what happened to him? Um, no. You don't have to go to counseling with your grandmother. Uh, you know, you have every right to feel how you feel. This is your grandmother. She's 70. She absolutely knows better. Uh, yeah, she, she. I'm going to give her the blame because she's. there's almost 50 years between. She's lived. She's known better. Whatever. She shouldn't have done this to this young guy. Bad grandma. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> she shouldn't have done this to this young guy. Uh-uh. Uh -uh, she shouldn't. What? Yeah. <laughs> She's old enough to know better, Steve. Mm. How fun is this? Uh -uh. <laughs> I need a photo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I ain't seen 70. <laughs> I want it. I'm 50. <laughs> I ain't seen 70 that I want it. Nah. 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 Uh, see, nah. Nah. He 23. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something wrong here. <laughs> Desperately wrong. I don't she know. Fine. He just wanted to see if he was a superstar in bed. Can I make grandmama holler like I make her baby girl holler? What? Or do I need grandma to just holler because I can't make her granddaughter holler? <laughs> what is going on? I'm trying to look at the logic of sleeping with a 70-year-old woman. Now, I'm sure that 70 is going to have a wonderful appeal to me coming shortly, maybe 12 years from now. Oh, but my okay. girl, my wife, who I'll still be married to, Lord willing, will be fine. I, and then it all makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Maybe he was dating grandma because she cheap. You know, old what? people don't want it. She cheap. Old oh. people don't want that. You ain't got to get them nothing because you got it. What you got to go to the store? Holly then. He might have to buy Holly then or something like that. Keep them dentures from slipping. You know, mm. uh, stuff like that. Being gay. I, mean, I don't like sleep with old people because they smell like medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, medicine. You got all that, that liniment oh, on you and everything. Liniment. Everybody had a grandmama. Used to go over there, but the whole house smelled like liniment. I be in the house. I used to go to my grandmama's house be high as hell. <laughs> they smelling all these different aromas and stuff. <laughs> and then we uh, country on, stuff with it. So I didn't really know what was going on. But I'm not really attracted to a woman that wear pantyhose down around her ankle and have a basket down there with fruit in it. I don't really <laughs> care for stuff like that. My grandma would have yarn and stuff in her. She wore a pantyhose around her ankle and it formed a basket. She had yarn and needles and fruit. And I remember one time I came home and said, Mama, Mama, I got a cookie. She said, where you get that cookie from? I said, Grandmama, 
Why don't you eat now, Grandpa? You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Tell me why now. It is what it is. Now tell me why. Why would, why now? It is what it is. But why? Why would you do something like this? Why would I do what, sweetie? My man, Demetrius Latravian Gidry, why would you be with my man? I told you it wasn't worth a damn when you brought him over the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All I do was prove it. <laughs> All this was, baby, but, it, but you did not have to hit me in my mouth <laughs> and my Aww. eye. That you is what you didn't have to do. You need to stick with a man that's your age. You 70. He is 23 years old. Men's is men's. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. That men's is men's. So you know, I just right. let you know that he was already trifling. So oh, he get right off if, into it good. If I would have got with your man, it's all right. Sweetie, sweetie, ain't no way in the world you could have handled Big Bank Jack. <laughs> it ain't no way. Big Bank Jack would have told you to pee. Girl, you ain't got enough in you to handle my man's. <laughs> You have you ain't, you ain't woman enough. You, you is my mama's mama. Whoa. <laughs> you my mama's mama. What in the world does that mama? got to do with it? You my mama's mama. Why? How could you do something? I'm your mama's mama. I'm not your mama. <laughs> Nana. Come on, Nana. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't count all that. You, if your mama had done this, I'd understand your anger. <laughs> but I'm your grandmother. <laughs> and I'm you damn near dead. I did not mean And if I can't get one last hoorah in before I get up out of here, at least do that for me. <laughs> Give me one last hurrah before I get up out of here. At least do that for me. You but your last hurrah ain't got to be with my man. Y'all, you grandkids ain't done a damn thing for Nana. Aww. Not nothing. Aww. Nothing. So, Christmas, you give me placemats. How many placemats <laughs> and napkin holders do I need? Aww, so this year, I got my own Christmas gift. <laughs> Your husband. <laughs> I got me some. Now, 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 now you, ain't, you ain't got to wrap it or put it under the box. I took it. <laughs> I knew you were responsible. So you've been here trying to explain this to y'all. Sick of getting all these doilies and everything. You buy me another blue plate with the farmhouse to prop up on the fireplace. I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> So I went on and had little Raynard. Right now and I what got do, news for you. What he do ain't Christmas worth gifts have? What that? What the Christmas gifts got to do Let me with tell you something. Your pain. husband ain't worth a damn. He wasn't bringing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ain't what? knock a wall out. He ain't do nothing. I thought it was gonna be something. He wasn't worth the time of damn huh? day. Well, you could have went on and had. You could have had, had it. What I could have had is a bowl of oatmeal. That's what I could have <laughs> had. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been better off sitting up in here wasting my time. Hard as it was for me to keep my leg up in there. <laughs> had my leg open that long for that long. I had my leg up caught a Charlie horse in a <laughs> Pull it had a back spasm. I got out and took out and been chewing dog pills like they Skittles ever since I got to. You didn't see it. Keep your eye down. on your man. Keep your eye on your man. Because I promise you. Yeah, ain't nobody studying. You can have that little nutting ass boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't they not doing nothing? I told you, he wasn't nothing like Big Bang Jackson. I'm telling you that right now. Big Bang. <laughs> she said she was chewing dome pills. <laughs> I want to apologize for busting you in your eye, but you don't mess with nobody, man. That's your grandmother. That's my mama, mama. You should get over yourself. You my mama's mama. How could you do it? I am your mama's mama. I am not your mama. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show.